famous liar. Meow. How's it going, everyone? My name is Swingpoint, and welcome to a game that we actually played a long time ago on Twitch for a live stream, except we only played the first part of it, and this game has been highly requested. It is called, as you can see, The Sandman, and this game is the sequel-ish to The Crooked Man, and then it's the second part in a three-part series of the Man series. The Crooked Man, The Sandman, and The Boogeyman. Not the Boogeyman game that's been going around on YouTube for a while, it's Boogeyman as in, like, RPG Maker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play The Sandman, we're gonna get into it because you guys have requested it a ton, and... <laughs> so creepy. So yeah, we played this game a little bit on Twitch, and it was just the first part, and it was so long ago, so I could barely remember anything about it. So we're gonna go ahead, start it over, do it for YouTube, and see what's inside the game. Shh. <laughs> I guess I'm talking too much. Quiet, dear, not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster moaning. Ew. Moaning in the closet. Ugh. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, that TikTok is like going, it's, I have it like really loud in my headset so it gets to me more and it's <laughs> Well, you're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. A terrifying story of the Sandman. Huzzah! And I'm pretty sure you put- Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you play as a girl named Sophie Grundler. Whenever I hear the word Grundler, I think of, like, something with butt cheese. I don't know why. Is that, like, a thing? <laughs> you, play, you play as Sophie Grundler, and everybody goes to sleep in this game, I'm pretty sure. And you, like, don't know why. One thing that's gonna be cool about this is I'm pretty sure there's a cameo from somebody who was in The Crooked Man that shows up in this game. And, one other thing before we get too far into it here is that this game... The reason I haven't played it yet is because the creator didn't want anybody playing this game for YouTube. They didn't want any monetized videos. And they changed their mind, based on at least what the VG person who translated all these games is saying. So now we can actually play it on here and feel okay. This person did Mermaid Swamp and The Crooked Man, and they've also, like I said, done The Boogeyman, which we have yet to see yet. Really excited to play through this, really excited to see what the game has to offer, because everything done is- I, I don't know how to say it- Yuri, I think is the person's name? Everything that she's done is so good. So good. Your favorite teddy bear just washed, so he's nice and fluffy. Well, without further introduction, we should probably get into the game here, huh? Oh, I just put on clothes. Go me. I don't know if I ever did that last time I played this. I can't remember. Okay. The desk clock, blah, blah, blah. The desk clock ticks on. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we just gotta get on out of here and we, we go into town. There's still bread in the toaster. Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. Have you ever done that? I, I'm not- I don't really leave bread in the toaster and forget to toast it. I toast bread and then forget to eat it. That's my thing. That's my big thing. What's this? A note. What does it say? Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a little while. I'll have the money to take care of yourself for now. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. A pot with a burnt bottom on the stove. Oopsie daisies. <laughs> so let's go outside, and I'm pretty sure that's where things get weird. I, like I said, it's been a while since I played this, but I do remember a little bit from the beginning. And... <laughs> I forgot she's bullied. She's totally bullied. You don't cackle like that unless you're bullying people. Regan, hey, Sophie. You got a painter at your house? What? 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 Because of that hair! How do you get it so red without a paint spill? Now, hold on, Regan. Follower number one. <laughs> hold on, Regan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor. And mistook ketchup for shampoo. Yeah, that's gotta be it. These are the weakest insults I've ever heard in my life. Oh, my God. I guess this is bullying, but oh my god, it's more funny than anything else because they're so stupid. <laughs> Miss Grundler, are you here? Oh, she goes do up. I don't I don't know if it's a Catholic school. It's definitely a religious school. Wait, no, she's got a cross. This is a Catholic school, isn't it? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. Sure thing, mama. Of course she trips me. What a bitch. What a big old blonde bitch. Ah! Ugh. Were you bullied? Call in the comments down below, were you bullied? And you know what? If you were bullied, it's okay. It gets better as you get older. What are you doing, Klutz? Hurry up, you're so slow, seriously. Well, I'm getting tripped by some blonde bimbo next to me, that's what's going on. Mmm, I just wanna punch her. Hey, I got a follower. Are you gonna be nice to me? Sophie! Hi, Anne. Um, about Regan, try not to let her get to you. They're not worth responding to anyway, it's fine. 
I wonder why Regan teases you so much. Because she's jelly of this fabulous red hair. Obviously. <laughs> That's probably not why. You know, I, why do bullies bully? Okay. Even more interesting, uh, other than were you bullied, because I'm pretty sure, like, everybody's been bullied in one fashion or another. If you were a bully, you look back and you're older now, when you used to bully somebody, why did you do it? Is it because somebody else was doing it? Is that why? Like, why did you bully somebody? I feel like that's way more interesting to read than, yeah, I was bullied to a swing point. Must be hard just being her. I'm the only outlet for her stress. Um, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? Well, thanks, Anne. How nice, Anne. <laughs> You're always, um, watching me. Well, we're friends. I, I don't really have any friends other than you. Uh, uh, well, I, I need to go see Sister Mary. See ya. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay. And I'm pretty sure Anne, I mean, she was introduced, so it's obvious she's going to be a character later, but I'm pretty sure she becomes a main part of the beginning of the story. Like I said, I know we played a little bit earlier on Twitch. Like, it was like seriously months ago, so this is all so foggy to me. Welcome, Miss Grundler. I want to call her like Miss Butt Grundler. Please come, take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grundler, you've showed great improvement on your last exam. Yeah, I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I'll have to tell Principal as well. Well, thank you very much. Nice! It's good, thanks. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we have discussed before? Maybe. Did we talk? Oh, wow, you don't even know. My, did you forget? You told me that you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Ah, here comes the Sandman. And now what's really interesting is I'm pretty sure everybody falls asleep in this game except us, so I wonder if she's, like, hallucinating. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so I did. Sorry, I'm spacing out. I forgot. It's no good, I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, and I just find myself up until morning. Insomnia! Have you been sleepless? How long have you been sleepless? As of last night, maybe about ten days! Oh my god, how are you alive? Sorry, I really can't remember that either. I don't blame you if your, your brain's probably all like... I was gonna say sizzly bacon, but that doesn't make sense. Is that... <laughs> I was gonna say mush. I think mush makes way more sense than sizzly bacon. Oh my! Have you gone to the hospital? Uh, no. My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him, and it would just cost money. You're gonna die! Funerals cost money! I see. Well, I wanted to talk to your father myself, but it seems that's not at his convenience. Well, at least he seems to be caring. Like, there's like... I don't know if it's rumors or like that stereotype of like... Nuns always slapping kids with rulers, and they're always just like wicked and mean. This one seems nice. <laughs> I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please do not worry about it. Excuse me, it's time for worship. Goodbye. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it. It may calm down and allow may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. Goodbye. So yeah, it's interesting so far. We're gonna hang out a lot more with Miss Sophie Grundler here. We're gonna learn a lot more about her and try to figure out why. Things are so messed up with their sleep schedule, and I'm pretty sure it's an Oogie Boogie Woogie Monster. Why is the light given to those in misery, and life to the bitter of soul, to those who long for death that does not come? Who search for it more than for hidden treasure, who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave? Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, who God has hedged in? God has hedged in. For sighing has become my daily food. My groans pour out like water. What is this? Is like some sort of sermon? What I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, but only turmoil. Okay, piano! You're nice and loud, thanks! How can anybody hear this lady when you're playing the piano like that? Job was an honest and adoring justice. But as we all know, he does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? Though through calamity he saw the truth. The truth that not everything can go swimmingly. Though you may be too young to have such an experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship, just as the Son of God had faith in a man but bore suffering. This is what gives us greater merit. So is this like the the plot of the game, going through suffering and all that? And so ends my sermon. Like, I, I always feel like there's a reason why things are in a game. It's not always true, but I'd like to think that there is a reason for it. Now let us pray. 
Interesting. <laughs> oh, God, damn it! Okay, thanks! Was that the school bell? Oh my god. Wow, that woke me up a little bit. Ugh! Bah! Sometimes I record right when I wake up, and it like, I take a while to wake up, and then you hear the crazy noises like that, and it just, bah! I should shower and get to bed. It's time to get naked in the shower! But I promise I'll never take off my clothes! Oh! Naked! Wow, you look really old. God, I look awful. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Oh god, oh god. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's an insult to tell a girl that they look sleepy. Like, girls take that as, oh my god, you think I look ugly today. That's what I've been told? I don't know if that's true. Girls, help me out in the comments. Bags under my eyes? The works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. What's the longest you ever gone without sleeping? Oh my god, I'm asking you guys so many questions today. Comments, 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 comments. Just keep commenting as the video goes on. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. Well, that's what the Sandman's gonna come in here and help you out with, Missy Moo. Actually, I'm not sure he helps me out. I'm pretty sure he helps everybody else out, that son of a bitch. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. And then you're not actually going to fall asleep, right? Are you wearing a moo moo? You totally are. Okay, let's go on to sleepy time. A prayer before bed. Mom always did that, didn't she? Oh, I was about to burp. Now I lay me down to sleep. Whoa, hello, voice acting. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. Okay, so this must be a really, really important part of the game, if there's even voice acting in it, like this whole thing that we've been setting up for. And if I die before I wake... I'm pretty sure this is like one of the most common prayers, isn't it? The Lord I pray my soul to take. I'm not a religious guy, so I don't really know these things. Stupid. <laughs> if that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble, now would there? Well, let's see if it works. Got your eyes closed, that's a start. Count some sheep. You know, a really good way to fall asleep, in case you're wondering, as long as you're old enough, close your ears if you're not old enough, like 18, 16, I don't know how old you gotta be to hear these things. Masturbation! I bet you that'll make you fall asleep. Something's weird. What happened to the clock? It stopped ticking. It stopped at midnight. Weird, I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? Huh. Very curious. Are you wearing slippers? The cock's- the- the cock is slopped. <laughs> the clock is stopped at 12 too. What is this about? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Didn't mean to talk about cock slop, I'm sorry. Wait. My cat snores. Chubby? He's the snoriest little kitty in the world. Who's doing that? The computer's in sleep mode. <laughs> Pretty sure it said that before, but it's way more ironic now. Okay, who's snoring? Who's got the big ol' snorry schnoz? Anybody? Hey, it's this guy who just fell asleep out in the hallway. Hi! Uh, it's the old guy from next door! What happened here? He's old. They do that. <laughs> He's sleeping? What? Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, did he, did he trip and hit his head? Oh, God, I gotta call an ambulance! Really? Oh, here comes 911. Or not? Why won't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't, can't get through to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? That's a good question. Oh, God. The lady next door. I'll tell her first. I'll just step on his forehead for a second. <laughs> Excuse me. It's the Grundler girl from next door. Your husband has fainted in the hall. But she's probably sleeping, too. Excuse me, Myth. Are you there? See? Everybody's asleep. I'm pretty sure everybody's asleep. Except for one special character, which who we're gonna see. It's not locked. It's wide open. Weird. Oh, wait, what the? Miss? You just go walk right in there? Miss, get up, please. What happened? Everybody is getting a little snoozy time. What is going on, man? And now, I don't think that everybody is asleep. I think I'm asleep, or something weird is happening to me. Something weird is here for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night, but why so quiet tonight? Well, it's pretty loud if you ask me. People got some big old snorry schnozzes. Can I go anywhere else in here? Not sure what room this is. Not gonna go in here. I kind of feel like I'm breaking in. So let's just check to make sure I'm not missing anything in terms of notes. And I think we're fine. So let's go out here. Step on your forehead. There we go. And let's go outside. And I, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's just people passed out everywhere. And, like, this is about where we stopped. I got a little bit farther in. I'm pretty sure we gotta, like, find one of our friends. 
And that's where I quit. So I'm really curious to see how this all turns out. Another person is asleep on the ground. But why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? That was a great question. Is anyone else awake at all? I don't know. Anything in the cafe? Locked up tight. No. What's this? It's a map of the town. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, that'll be so nice. I'm trying to find my way around here. It's a mailbox. Anything else? Hey, more sleepy people. Hi. Hello? Resting peacefully. Well, at least I'm not snoring anymore. Can I go in the hospital? I don't even want to go near a hospital at night. Yeesh. What's wrong with a hospital at night? Am I missing something? Is it because people die in hospitals? Is that what that's all about? I, I don't get why that's spooky. Do hospitals creep you out at night? Oh my god. Do I always ask you guys this many questions? I feel like I do. And it just makes the good little comment section around this really vocal. I really like that about the community. You make it awesome by commenting. A boutique. It's locked up at night. Well, okay. Well, I'm gonna go over here now. I'll well, see what this says. This looks interesting. A fur 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 in the department. So, I'm really excited to see the character that came in from the Crooked Man. You'll see who I'm talking about pretty quickly here. It's locked shut. There's a big old crack in the wall. Can't touch that. Do any of these say anything? 103, 104. Okay, so this might actually be useful for later. I'm guessing they're all locked up tight. My guess, based on what I did before when we played this game, is I'm pretty sure... Wait a second. Wait a second. Aha! Look at that! 205, 203. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a homage to to David from The Crooked Man, right? Because didn't, wasn't he in an apartment like this where there was a big old crack in the wall and one of the things was missing? This is totally the same apartment, isn't it? Oh my god, that's so cool! That's so cool! I don't think I noticed that last time. More sleepy people! Isn't this so weird? Everyone's sleeping. It's so creepy. This is probably one of the creepiest things you could ever experience is you go outside, you go anywhere, and everybody's just asleep except for you. Ugh, so nuts. Hey, it's a cutscene. Yeah, this is just getting weirder and weirder. All the people I've seen are asleep on the street. And what in the world is going on? <laughs> ah, don't touch me! God, selfie! Ah, see, I already knew this was gonna happen, though, so it's not that big of a surprise, but oh my god, the first time I saw this, I'll try and reenact it for you. Oh my god, it's David! Holy shit! Ah! <laughs> Dude, I seriously freaked out the first time I saw him. I was so excited to see him. He is the main character from The Crooked Man, and that was a really good playthrough. I'll put it in the description down below. I really liked that game. We learned a lot about David and the struggles that he went through. He was such a cool character, and he's a character in this game. I don't know how significant he's going to be, though. I do believe this is a series. One, two, three, Crooked Man, Sandman, Boogie Man. I don't know how Sophie and David know each other, though. He could just be a dream. I'm not sure. To David? David, why are you here? David, how do I know you? How about that? I was doing overtime, and then when I left to go home, things looked weird. You know, of all the people who'd be awake during this shit, it would be David. It looks like everyone just fell asleep on the spot. And then I took a look around, and I found you. You okay, Sophie? You're not hurt or anything, are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Just really weeded out, and I haven't slept in like ten days. But I have no clue how this happened. Yeah, me neither. What? Why would everyone just hit the- hit the hay? I don't know about hitting the hay, they're kind of like hitting their faces on the ground, man. I know it's a reference, but oh my god, they're just sleeping in the middle of the street. I wonder if we're the only ones awake. Who can say? Maybe some are awake inside? I'll go look and see, you wanna come with? Sh sure Wait, what? Oh. Hold on! Uh, what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't go with David, I was like, that's weird. My friend, my friend Anne, she lives in the dorms at school. You want to see her? Well, uh, if Anne's awake, I'm sure she's scared since she's pretty timid. I, I want to go look for her. Well, friends are important after all. Oh, and like that's like the big lesson we learned with David, which is so cool. Because he was seriously just in a really bad place, getting really super alone, and then his friends really helped to bail him out of a lot of things. Uh, real ones and imaginary ones. It's, it's such a cool story. You should really check out The Crooked Man. I'll go with you. You can't, David. You're not real. It's an all-girls school. Oh, all right, Catholic school. No boys allowed, huh? Except no, cuz seriously, it doesn't matter right now. It could be dangerous. Let me go with you. I'm fine. I could do it myself. I go there every day. It's not like I'd get lost. But this creepy right now. All right, all right. If you insist. Fine on your own. Huh? Well, I'll look around elsewhere and we'll meet up later. Check the park once you find your friend, okay? Yeah, I got it. 
Now, I'm pretty sure things start getting creepy once we go looking for Anne. Sophie! Don't do anything rash. If anything happened to you... Aww. I'll be okay, David. So, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> wow! Face plants! <laughs> Resting peacefully? That feels like a lie. <laughs> Now, I'm pretty sure what we need to do is go ahead and find our way into the school, and I'm pretty sure it's locked up. I gotta go get a ladder and some shit like that. So, I'll go ahead and do that, get ourselves into the school, and then I think we'll pick it up there. And the thing to keep in mind, if you ever do pick up an RPG Maker game for yourself, one of the themes of these types of games is touch everything, because if you don't, you're gonna miss something. Seriously, touch everything, and that makes it so much easier to go ahead and get through the game, because I know I've played a couple of these, and every single time I do, you know what happens? I miss something that was super obvious, like this little thing chilling over here, this little closet vid shed thingy, and I get stuck forever. So I got ourselves a ladder here. Let's go back to the main place, or the school, hop over the fence, and get inside the school. I'm pretty sure it gets pretty creepy once we're in there. Man, should I really? Well, this is an emergency. Blam! <laughs> Called it. Cool. So I could probably unlock the door, bust on through into here. And we go then. Sorry, Sister Mary. Classrooms are all locked, I'm sure. I'll check the dorms for Anne. Anne, which room is yours? I have no clue. Sophie, here it is. Anne's room. Uh, it's not Anne. Anne had, like, the, the brown bowl cut, didn't she? This is a roommate. Huh, roommate's on the top bunk, but why isn't Anne here? She didn't say she was going home. Aha, I knew that Anne was creeping around somewhere. Is she somewhere in the school? But almost every room is locked. Oh boy, that's it. The chapel. It's never locked so people can pray at any time. Maybe she could be in there. I'm here. Whoa, God, what was that? Was there something in here? You got the creepy thing in your bathroom, Anne. What the hell was that? Ooh, is there anything in the toilet? Ah, come on, there's gonna be something in the toilet eventually. There's always something in the toilet. Hi, Anne! Oh, here you are, perfect. Anne, you're okay. She's awake. Even more important. Don't know why she's crying. Sophie, why are you here? Things are weird in town. Everyone fell and conked out, so I got worried about you. Oh, I see how good of a friend I am. Come on, Anne, let's get out of here. There's a friend of mine waiting outside. Who knows what's going on, but we should stick together. No! I won't go! Why not? No! I'm scared. They'll chase me again. Oh god, creepers. They? Come on, Anne, it's fine. I don't see any weird people. But Look, there's this friend of mine. He's a guy you can trust. How do you know David? I want to know that. He'll protect you even from the weirdos. So yeah, come with me. Yeah, David's got a gun, doesn't he? He's always got a gun. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure we're about to get chased. Oh god, get close! No, don't split up like that! Ah! Oh god, well, what? Where are you going, little Miss Liar? Uh, no, no, not again! Oh god, oh, it's you creepy kids! Ah! We're running away again, are we? Yeah. You really are such a liar. Oh, I hate the cackling. Liars must be punished. But what is wrong with you? Get away from Anne! Why? She's a liar, isn't she? What? A liar is a bad thing to be, so they must be punished. What is she lying about? Is she lying about being my friend? Maybe that's what it is. I, I don't have a clue as to what you mean. Just get away from Anne now. She's my friend. I see. Are you a liar, too? What? <laughs> I do not do the lying. Liars need punishment. Yes, extreme punishment. I am a good little red-headed girl. I am fine. Let's be good to me. So we'll become liars ourselves. So I'm pretty sure what that means is that- Oh, God. No! Oh, God. This is so cool. The art, man. Anne! Well, where did you take Anne? Uh, hmm, who knows? You should give back Anne! Where did she go? She must have gone home. What? Liar. That's a lie. You took her away. Then why don't you go look for her? So we're gonna end it here, guys. As you can see, there's a lot of really interesting stuff going on, and I feel like it's setting it up to be a really, really good story. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have requested the Sandman, so I'm sure it's a great game. And now that we can finally play it, I'm super excited to see 
what's going on with this Sophie Grendler here? What's going on with David, why he's even here? And what's going on with Anne? And I'm sure we're gonna meet more characters, learn more things, and I'm really curious to get to the bottom of it. So, if you guys like this and you wanna see more Sandman, please let me know by leaving a like, putting a comment down below, let me know what you thought about the game. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe, that way you can see the rest of these videos as I release them. And I will see you guys in the next video that we do around here. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Meow! I said leave! Woohoo! <laughs> Woo! 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 How's it going everyone? My name is Swing Point, and this is another RPG Maker horror game, The Crooked Man. There's no menu music, so let's get straight into it. It's kinda cool.